My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can add data to a new Excel column. And it was actually a great question I got from a viewer. I made a video here. And I got a question uh, from a viewer just now that uh, his name is Togo Ilofsson. Sorry if I mispronounce your name, Togo. Um, he asked us how we can add data to new columns in Excel as we get them. And I hope you understood your question right, Togart, because uh, from what I read here, you wanted to know how we can add data to the first empty column in an Excel sheet. So, and you want the date to be the header, like the date of the, the when we add the data. So that could be today's date, like this, the 1st of March, 2020. And then you've got three values you got from another program. You want to add them in here, 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 right? And then when you added those on, to ne the next day, you want to add them, in, add them in here, 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 here. So that's today's mission. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all my future videos about UiPath and RPA. And with that said, let's get started. So we close down this Excel sheet. And uh, we'll get back to Togart. So we'll go to UiPath and then we'll open a workflow. And first we need to read the data from Excel. So we we'll go to activities and then find a read range and choose the workbook. Drag this guy in and we will choose the path of the workbook. Uh, mine is on the desktop, but yours could be wherever you want. The sheet name, that's sheet one in my case, and you could have another sheet name. We'll just choose the entire range here and then we will output it to a data table. So go over to the output data table, control K, DT output, we could call it like this. And now we created a data table with our, um, actually it's both input and output. So maybe a more appropriate name will be DT, let us say uh, DT data like this. Or we could have changed it down here in the variables. So let's delete this output. And now we have a DT data. Then we want to, um, I think we will have we will add the header first because uh, then we can easily work with the other data. So find an assign, and I think the easiest thing to do is to assign today's date to a variable. So go down uh, to this assign and then Control K, call this str date now like this. And what we want to do here is that we will add in the .net command for uh, today's date. So that will be the uh, date time like this dot now to string and then we can choose the format of our date so if we wanted to uh, say that we want day day month month year year then it's this and if we want the month first we'll just have the month here and the date here and we can change these ones to this guy or whatever but this is our format so that's it for, for now and then go down to variables again because uh, we'll use it in a data table command in a bit. So change this variable type to a string because it is, it is a string. Um, and now we can uh, add a data column to our data table. Remember this guy here, he reads the, the Excel sheet into a data table. So it's nothing more than a database with uh, the same look, this exact same look as Excel. It's just a data table that we can work with. So then we will find a add data column, drag this guy in, and the data table, that will just be the DT data that we uh, have here. The column name, well, that was going to be uh, the date of today, and we just created a variable up here. So we'll just uh, type in the variable here. So now we've created a new column with um, today's uh, name, and we can check if it actually works. So we can choose a right range, write it out to Excel again. So go down to workbook, write range, the path, that's just still the uh, Excel uh, worksheet here. So open, sheet one, the range, delete this. And the data table, that will be the DT data that we write to. And one last property that we uh, definitely need to remember, add the headers. Otherwise you won't see the headers and your data will be wrong. Now we can try to run it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So let's see if we actually uh, made this change to the... Now we just changed, it, changed the header of our ex the data table and the Excel sheet. So we had a new column with a date. That looks fine, right? 
Let us just delete this because we'll add in the column with data in a bit. So let's delete this, close down the Excel sheet, go down to your path again. And now we want to add in some data. We got the header now. So we uh, say that uh, Torgard, he, got the, he gets the data from another program and uh, we don't know the format of his variables and that just uh, that also don't matter. So we can just create a variable. Say that this is the variable that we got from the other program. It could be 212a. I don't know the format of that. So I'll just create this one. And this, this guy here, that will be something that goes in up here in the workflow that we can't see. So this is a part of the work of Tovat's workflow. And what we'll do here is that we will drag in an assign. So here, after we added the data column, we will drag in an assign. And we will now specify where we want to add it. And I think I'll open the Excel sheet again. So we can see, we, we have the header now. And we want to add data in here first. And we know that this is the first row after the headers. Remember? These guys up here, those are headers. So this is the first row, second row, and third row. And what this is is zero index, so this is row zero, row one, and row two. And we know the column name as well. So now we can pinpoint this cell actually because we know the column name and we wrote we know the row name. So that's fairly convenient when we try to assign a value to it. So what we'll do is that we'll first specify what um, data table that we're in, we're in the DT data, and then we will specify the row, and remember that was row zero because it was the first row, so rows, parentheses, zero, and then dot, and then the column name, that will be the item, like this, and the item, that was just the data of, uh, that we just found, so that's this guy over here, this variable, str, date, now, like this, and that was actually the reason why we changed this up here to a string, otherwise this wouldn't have worked. Then we will uh, assign a um, variable to it, and this was the guy that got in from the another program, str var it, like this. So now we um, assign the value to it and can see if this works, and then we can just create two other variables in the same way. Uh, workflow flow went true and we'll open the Excel worksheet again and we can see here that we added a new data column and we got the first value right so now we just uh, need in the same way we'll have two other ones however there might be a problem here because we just added in the data here. say that uh, this uh, this flow runs twice a day then we will have uh, two columns with the same name and that's not good when it's uh, when we are referring to the column name so uh, we need to change uh, this so let us just delete this oh, sorry let us just delete the data in here and uh, close it down so what we need to do here is that uh, we could uh, instead of just uh, getting the date we can also add in the hours, minutes and seconds, so we will be sure that uh, we won't have any problems. And even milliseconds if you think that you'll add data in every second or something, but uh, we won't do it here. So here we'll have the hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. So now we will have uh, some more uh, specific uh, column name. So that doesn't change anything, we'll just change it up here in the assign. And then we can, um, so now we got a new column name, but it will be the same because we coded uh, the variable name up here. And then we can just, uh, we will have two more variables. So this one will be str bar two, and that one will have a value of, I don't know, 230 b, 2030 b, and then we'll have the third variable, str var three. And this guy will have the, mm, 789d. We could just uh, copy this guy, this guy here. So now we will add in. Uh, so this one will be the second row, row, row one, sorry. And this one will be the third row, and that will be row two again. Remember, it's zero indexed. So here, like this. And then this one will be str var two and str var three like this. Try to run it. And 
we can see uh, we can go over here and maybe, but let's try to run it like three times so we can see that our um, trick with adding in the hour and seconds actually worked so I'll just uh, run it three times like this so now we added in uh, data three times I know it's the same values but we'll have a different header and we can see that works and we can see that it actually worked because here we got uh, one time time 10.09.38 10.09.48 and 10.09.55 and we got the data here but this, those ones will change as Togart got them in so uh, that's it for today thank you for the great question Togart and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all my new videos have a good day bye bye